Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking to you guys about the books that I read in December. So if you guys saw my the book that I want to read before 2020 ends, a fancy title for December TBR, which was by the way one of the rare moments that I actually made a TBR video. I didn't do that a lot in 2019 and I loved not doing that because I kind of feel like I'm restricting myself to certain books which at that moment I might not feel like reading so not doing a lot of TBRs in the next year because it just doesn't feel right but in that video I showed you guys five books that I wanted to read in December and I finished two and I started another one of those books so it didn't do like extremely well but I felt okay about that number let's start off with the first book that I finished and that I'm so happy that I did and that is Sorcery of Thorns which is so shiny with this light by Margaret Rogerson everyone has been talking about this book in 2019 I started started it like right when it came out and I finished it like four months later. At the time that I started this, the, at the time that I started reading this book back in like the beginning of August somewhere, I wasn't in a really great mental space and the rest of that month too. So I couldn't really focus on any books that I was reading. And I mainly blame that to be the reason why I didn't finish this book earlier because it is a quite interesting fantasy standalone book. And we follow our main character, Elizabeth, and she lives in the country of Astermere. Ostermere? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. But in the city you have sorcerers who are always seen as kind of like evil people and you don't really want to hang out with them. And these sorcerers use grimoires which are like magical books. They are living creatures but in book form. They kind of get or like perform their sorcery from those books. In this country Ostermere, Astermere, you have five really big libraries in which they store these grimoires because they can be really dangerous but they don't have to be. Our main character Elizabeth, she wants to become a warden of one of those libraries and kind of like keep those books contained but on one evening the library gets like sabotaged and one of the most dangerous grimoires gets out and Elizabeth has to work together with this really famous sorcerer called Nathaniel and she kind of starts to learn as their journey kind of goes on that sorcerers might not be that bad. I love that this is a fantasy standalone because I cannot commit to series like that well at all. I read up until page like 90 or 100 before I I kind of took a very long break of this book. When I started reading it again, I actually really quite enjoyed it. Especially at one point I was just reading and reading and I really liked it, but I didn't like it as much as a lot of people do. Like there was a huge hype around this book and I think it was fun, you know, but not a super special fantasy read of mine. I just found it very interesting, like the premise of these grimoires and the libraries, and I really loved the adventure, and it was a very fast-paced book because it is a standalone, lots of things happen. Sometimes I would have liked to have a little bit more depth in the story, but overall I give this one, I believe, like a three or a three and a half out of five stars. For me personally, liked it, but didn't find it to be anything special. I'm just really glad that I did actually finish this one. <laughs> After that, I read a really fun book and it was surprising because I wasn't expecting anything from this book to be honest and that is What de Zee Vertelt by Julia Drake. This is the Dutch title for The Last True Poets of the Sea which is this book but in English. I got sent this book by Moon YA. Thank you so much again Moon for sending me this book because I enjoyed it so very much. Not only did I like reading a book in Dutch again which I rarely do, it's my, how do you say that, my mother language. It does take me a little longer to get into a story when it is written in Dutch and I also just really like to read the books in their original language. Of course when a company wants to send me a book and the book really speaks to me I'm not gonna say no. In this story we follow Violet, our main character, and her parents have always told that their family, the Larkin family, is a family full of people with luck. Just people who always go through life and get through it because they are fierce, they are strong. Because a long, long time ago, I believe that like Violet's great, great, maybe even great grandma. So she was in an accident, the boat sank, and she was the sole survivor of this like boat crash sinking shenanigan thing. And she created this town called Lyric. So Violet's family has always grown up in this place called Lyric. And Violet and her little brother Sam always went there during the summer as well. But even though their family is super strong, Violet and Sam have been dealing with some really serious stuff. Violet has been kind of hanging out with the wrong people and she just parties so incredibly much back where she lives in New York City and Sam, her little brother, did a suicide attempt. They are dealing with some 
serious shit and after Sam's suicide attempt, Violet gets sent to her uncle who lives in Larry. She's gonna like spend her summer there. She's also gonna work at this sea aquarium museum. She decides that she is gonna find the sunken ship which her like great 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 grandma was the sole survivor of. She's gonna find the ship, the Lyric, and she's gonna try and do that with her new friends, but she also meets this girl called Liv, and she is like the amateur historian of this little town, and they team up and try to find the sunken ship. And Liv also kind of sparks up different feelings with Violet as well. So this is an LGBTQ read about discovering who you are, trying to find out things about your family, about yourself, and it was just a wonderful read. I was really surprised by this book because I didn't like necessarily thought I was gonna hate it but I also didn't thought that I was gonna love it and I really enjoyed it so I believe I gave this one like a three and a half to a four out of five stars. The writing style was beautiful. I also really loved reading this in Dutch. I think the characters were very flawed but complex and I love the whole friendship and just the family that Violet had and how supportive they all were of each other. I think this was a really great read. So again thank you so much Moon for sending me this book. I really appreciate it. Those were the two books that I actually finished in December. Um, but I also started another one, which I have finished by now, but let's not talk about that. And that is Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. This is the second book to the Cassidy Blake series, I believe, who is the main character of the series. I read City of Ghosts back in October about the spooky times and I really, really enjoyed it. We follow Cassidy and Cassidy's best friend is a ghost called Jacob, who is the sassiest, most fun character ever. I love Jacob with my whole heart and in the first book you meet her parents who are ghost hunters ironically enough. They don't believe that Cassidy can see ghosts. They believe that Jacob is her like imaginary friend. Her parents are ghost hunters and they are starting this TV program which is called Inspectors and for their TV series they are going to different cities around the world. So in the first book they go to Edinburgh if I'm saying that name correctly and in this book they go to Paris and Cassidy has many more mistakes and just things that come along her way in these cities as well which are very creepy and adventurous. This is a middle grade series but let me tell you it doesn't per se read like a book written for children aged 9 to 12. Even though they can read it like perfectly fine I think reading this as a 20 year old like me is just as fun. It is so good let me tell you that. Little spoiler alert for my January wrap up I enjoyed this book just as much as the first one. It was just so fun and cute, scary, mysterious, and even though Paris, I haven't been there, is not a city that I'm particularly like interested in, I loved the setting. J'adore, as they would say in French. So those were the two slash three books that I read in December. Let me know in the comments down below which books you guys read, or maybe you also read some of the books that I finished this month, and let me know your guys' opinions. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on this screen or on the button down below and if you guys want to follow me on all of my different social media pages of course you can <laughs> because I'm a booktuber you can follow me on Goodreads but I also have Snapchat, Instagram plus an email address and a link to those will also be in the description bar down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!